I just automated Midjourney to create full storybooks for me overnight. Look at this. This is crazy. I didn't prompt any of these. These are all great. This thing is creating new artwork for me by itself every five minutes. Okay. So the background here is my son is four years old and he loves storybooks. He's got a great attention span and so we read together every night. But of course, like any kid, he loves illustrated storybooks best. So we read the Harry Potter book one a few weeks ago and he loved it. But every five minutes he was asking me for a photo of Harry or Hermione or Hogwarts. So I'm on my phone constantly Googling stuff and showing him whatever photo or drawing that I find. And I'm thinking, man, I really wish this was a fully illustrated book. But then I thought, wait a minute, why not? We have the technology. Okay, so here's my strategy. I want a little bot that will loop through a book, divide it into chunks or paragraphs, and then send each of those paragraphs to OpenAI and Midjourney to respond with a relevant image for me. And I want all of it to happen automatically, on its own, I don't want to spend hours on this. And I'm not a developer or a coder or anything like that. Okay. Let's do it. First of all, the first thing that I'll want is to create a table that organizes the entire book. Like if I want a visual image for each paragraph, then my first step is to split the book up and get all of the paragraph chunks organized. I'm going to achieve this via Zap. If you haven't signed up for Zapier yet, it's an awesome automation and AI tool that will change your life. There's a free tier and a $20 version, I'm gonna use the $20 version in this case because I want to use Zapier tables and a few other of its most powerful features. Okay, so in this Zap, what it does is grab a file that I upload to Google Drive. I just found a .txt file of Harry Potter book one available for free online. Okay, and so now I'm going to have a code by Zapier step, cut the story into paragraph chunks. Again, I don't have a developer background. I just asked ChatGPT to write this little JavaScript snippet for me, and it works great. Okay, so now I want a looping by Zapier step to loop through every single paragraph and add it as another row or a record to my table. Here it is, done. Okay, so now we've got a Zapier table book, but I wanna create an image for each row, each paragraph. As you probably already know, Midjourney likes very particular prompts, um, especially if we're going to get a consistent look or feel or consistent characters, then we're going to want to give it good prompts, similar prompts every single time. I'm gonna handle this via a ChatGPT zap. Okay, so look at this. This is where automation really goes to work for me. Every hour, I'm going to have Zapier look at the table, find a record, and give it to ChatGPT to create a prompt for Midjourney. Send that prompt to Midjourney and then get back the image URL. Couple things to notice here. First, I'm using storage by Zapier step. That remembers what row that I'm currently on. Like if I send row number one now, then I want to send row number two next. And then after that, a few minutes later, I wanna send row number three and so on and so on. So the bot can slowly work its way through all of the paragraphs in the book and fill out the Zapier table entirely. The next big thing that I wanna point out is the ChatGPT step. If you take a look at this thing, I gave it a long detailed prompt. I experimented a lot and this is the final version that I like the most. It's basically acting like a cinematographer. It's looking at the script, thinking about the characters that are involved, thinking about the emotion, emotions involved and deciding who and what to focus on and what to convey. I gave it a handful of examples so that it can understand what I like. Like here's an example paragraph about Mr. Dursley noticing a tabby cat near his house. And so I wanna focus on a single character. That's where Mid Journey I think really shines. In this case, I'm saying the cat is the most important. So Mid Journey, focus on the cat. But also remember how I talked about the importance of consistent characters and consistent aesthetic or look and feel throughout the entire book. Here's how I'm achieving that. Number one, I'm appending the exact same sentence to every single prompt that gets generated in the story of a storybook illustrator. 
that's going to tell Midjourney that I don't want some photorealistic photograph. I don't want some surreal style or whatever else. I want a kid's storybook. Number two, probably most important, I've created a short library of character images that I want ChatGPT and Midjourney to reference and use with each new prompt and each new image that gets generated. So let's say ChatGPT notices that this paragraph is about Draco Malfoy. Okay, then please include this Draco image that I like in your overall prompt. Or what if ChatGPT notices that the next paragraph is about Oliver Wood? Okay, well then please include this image that I like of Oliver Wood in the next prompt. This ensures that the characters always stay similar looking throughout the entire book. Next, once ChatGPT has created a mid-journey prompt for a given paragraph, we're going to use something called Go API to connect them together. This webhook step is effectively saying, take my chat GPT prompt and send it to Midjourney through Go API. That's the tool. But if you've ever used Midjourney before, you'll know that the image creation isn't instantaneous. Just to be safe, I'm gonna have it wait for five minutes to make sure that the image gets created fully and successfully before I go to get it. And then I'll use this code by Zapier step to fetch that mid-journey image URL and add it to the table. Boom, here it is, looks great. So this thing is creating images automatically for me now, but I don't want it to run every hour. I actually want much more than that. So all I did was duplicate this exact same zap and staggered it every 15 minutes. So this thing is basically running every 15 minutes and it just fills out the table for me. It was done in like two days. The other thing that I decided is I don't want a storybook just of character portraits. I also want images of the castles, of the haunted forest, of the city of London, whatever. So I created an identical zap for B-roll. The only modification I made was asking ChatGPT to read the exact same paragraph, but this time focus on the location or the setting of that paragraph. So the resulting images for that were all like B-roll or establishing shots that we can kind of mix in when we like it. When you combine the whole thing together, we have a fully illustrated storybook. By the way, we can very easily automate the process of taking this table of paragraphs and images and just creating the actual book for us, inserting these images next to the relevant paragraph text. We could use Zapier and Banner Bear for that. We actually have a video tutorial on it. But again, that's kind of a separate video. It's long enough, a few minutes. It should be a separate thing. But I'll link to that in the, in the description. I hope you liked this uh, as much as I did. Click like, subscribe for more, and comment if you have any questions or just want access to some of the assets or the the template workflows that I used. You can just reuse them yourself. Get started for free.